What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled Immigration and Reparations. I was having a um, conversation with a family member about the interesting things to me about this immigration debate and the interesting thing, the interesting thing about reparations. And they were like, I don't understand why all of the, like all of these people are, are having an issue with black people wanting reparations, and that includes you know, that includes black people who are not necessarily from America, right? And I was laughing. I was like, well, the thing about it is, you know, they don't have the same history, so they don't they don't care the same. And the funny part about the immigration part is if, you, if, if when we separate people from us, it puts them on an island. Not just other black people, but in general, like part of the, you know, part of not having a black and brown coalition, it kind of puts the Hispanic community on an island. Part of that also puts the Asian community on an island, puts the, the, the Arab community on an island, you know, because... What, what people are starting to see is, wait a minute. So this is how we're treated when we're individuals. And now all of a sudden, you know, black people like, see, you participated in this level of um, oppression. And while you had our help, now you just, you got to get it on your own. You know, no, no, nobody wants to hear your... We're not going to listen to your story, even if it's valid, even though it's a sad story, because guess what? You participated in this system. And on the flip side, we are talking about the reparations part, where people don't want us to get reparations. But I was like, you know, this country is kind of very much so hypocritical because there are things that, that, this, that America doles out money to other countries all the time. And to, to, to have the, you know, immigration argument and, the, and they say black, you know, us as black people, we're the, the face of like welfare and government programs and affirmative actions when everybody else actually benefits from it way more than we do. And at the same time, abroad, give money to people in countries on a regular basis as quote-unquote aid, which is welfare, or for some kind of political thing, which is like country welfare and reparations, and I was clowning because I truly don't notice to this day. I'm trying to figure out why does America keep sending billions of dollars to Israel every year? I mean, they basically got paid reparations. That community got paid reparations from Germany, but we don't look at America sending Israel billions of dollars as like, extra reparations from the United States. We look at that as like political aid, but I, I didn't know, you know, I don't see a trade going on with Israel in America. Like I get Saudi Arabia, um, you trade military, uh, um, military technology and military tactics for oil. I get that, you get what I'm saying? But Israel, it was never like that. It, it was just giving them money to build the country, giving them money to build the country, giving them money to build the country, giving them push out the, you know, the Palestinians, give them some more money to build the country. And it's like, well, how can you say on one end you don't want us to have reparations here, but you you built up a nation on the other side of the Atlantic. You know, and you know, giving money to Africa, of course, um, but they didn't. But it, but not even helping them build up a nation. You know, you give money to Africa, but it didn't really. But didn't really help the infrastructure or build anything. It, it was two completely different things. But at the same time, in Africa, you, using that money in some ways to access and gain resources and bring those resources back to America. So it's like I don't get it. Now, the other thing about the immigration. The reparations part was they were talking to me about um, 
the 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 the, the migration from people to central South and Central America through Mexico to America, and it was like, well, Me Mexico wound up being like kind of like a sanctuary country where you can get amnesty in Mexico, but people didn't want to stop in Mexico; they wanted to come here. It's like, well, but it was like we want to come there, and I'm like, well. So basically, you just want to come here over Mexico. You didn't really want amnesty from your country. You just wanted access to America because if you got to the next country and the next country was Mexico, that you weren't just looking for freedom. You was looking for a particular type of freedom. And then people come here as immigrants and they're like, you know, I want the American dream. I should access the American dream, which... To a degree, it's understandable, but to a degree, it's kind of weird that you want you want to access it under somebody else's template or under somebody else's uh, um, work or, so, or, or under somebody else's history and then say you deserve more than they do. And then you use their template, their work, and, 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 and their history as a way to springboard yourself ahead of them. So basically, you're... you're, 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 you're a, a political culture vulture for your own gain and you're not and you're not supposed to be looked at as such which is problematic because it's going to cause a rift like oh we don't do this because a lot of the groups see we act as see one of the issues that we have is uh when it comes to black history when it comes to you know reconstruction jim crow civil rights um up into crack era all the way up until now right we act like hispanics weren't here we act like um uh, asians weren't here we act like uh um uh, uh muslims or, or arabs weren't here they were here you know they were here this uh, not as as big a number as they are now but they were here the whole time and, and they were here most of that time. I'm not going to say the whole for everybody, but they were here a majority of that time. You know, they, people like Italians, Jews, and Irish, they were here. They weren't considered white until like 80, 90 years ago. You know, so this idea that everybody's, a, a, you know, everybody d experienced America in the same way and it's no different now. It's completely ridiculous. Um, and on top of that, people X out, quote unquote, Native Americans. See, <laughs> I found it interesting that you can keep doling out money to these other countries, but you won't dole out money to the Native American population on a regular basis. Now, they don't have to pay taxes if they find out they're full-blooded. They get ta they get breaks by the government if you find if you find out you're, you're a native. But the problem with that is you have f people still pulling the $5 Indian business today and using Native American breaks when you're not Native American to, um, to get benefits from the government. You know, like people look at, what is it, Elizabeth Warren, like, how are you Native American? You know, one of the things I talked about in one of the videos on Netflix where they had one of the guys had a, a um, cash lending business, you know, like you know, payday loans. He kind of, he used uh, Native American tribes as his business basis so he can get government benefits while he was robbing people and didn't even really pay the tribes any of the money. So he pocketed everything. So he's a white guy using Native American uh, tribal business uh, uh, breaks while he's getting over on everybody and not paying the tribe or paying the tribe minimal. You know what I'm saying? And this is part of immigration and reparations because this, we're seeing, you know, everybody has got their hand in everybody else's pot and they're just so accustomed to it and addicted to it that when you take, when you get your hand on my pot, <laughs> you, you, you're being offensive, you're being oppressive. How can, why can't I steal from you? Something's wrong with you. We were accustomed to stealing from you, and it's wrong for you to make me want to stop. That's what's going on. While being hypocritical on the other end. So, to a degree, I'm like, immigration and reparations is funny because all these people got their hands in the cookie jar, 
And now their response is what's up. It shows what's really up. Because even a part of illegal immigration, you can't keep fighting for illegal immigrants while you have people who are immigrants who came in here and became citizens legally and at the same time understanding that all these other countries in the world do not take on illegal immigrants like that. They ship you back. So it's problematic. Um, but it's my thoughts about this one. I'm done. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.